My first camera was a little, excuse me, a little plastic camera that was, I redeemed butter coupons uh, to get it. And I still have one of the photographs I shot with that camera when I was probably like 10 years old of my mother and my father and my brother in a boat. I was in the bow looking back. And then, you know, years later, uh, I worked for the Baltimore Sun Magazine for 10 years, and that was a very interesting career. I loved it. Traveled all over the world, got, got to do some really neat stories. But at the end of the 80s, I could see the end was coming. They were they just they weren't going to publish it anymore, and that's when I left. And a friend of mine who was a National Geographic photographer, Bob Madden, he lives in Annapolis now, and who was one of the top people at National Geographic, um, we, we became friends, and uh, I used to go over to National Geographic and see him when he came back from a story and look at his film and you know talk to the editors and stuff. And you know he suggested he knew I wasn't going to be a globetrotter; it just wasn't in me. I wasn't it wasn't interested in that. He said, you know, you ought to think about concentrating on what you love, which is the bay. And he said, you know, you could even do one uh, eight hundred bay picks which I ended up doing. And my license plate on my car is now Bay Picks. So that was 40 years ago. Oh no, I was always in love with the Bay. I was always in love with, the, with anything to do with water and being outside. And you know, a smelly marsh is just a great place for me. I, I have no qualms about getting up to my knees in mud. I'm always go out before sunrise or around sunrise because the horizontal light and it just lights things up. Middle of the day to me is a time to uh, have lunch and take a nap, you know? Uh, it just, or, or work, work with my computer. But morning and evening light, and I'm, I'm, a real, I'm real partial to morning light. I love the mists and the, the, just the sun, different times of the year. Um, I go out every year on the, on the winter solstice and make a photograph, the return of the light metaphorically. The theme of the Maritime Museum show is literally is where land and water meet. And that is the epitome of the Chesapeake Bay. You know, we have, I don't know how many, 10, 12,000 square, uh, 12,000 miles of shoreline in the bay. It's the most shoreline of any body of water, in, you know, in the country. Um, and that shoreline is, you know, that crenellated, curvy shoreline um, is just, just mile upon mile upon mile of this of, of diversity and beauty. It's that diversity in, in the Chesapeake Bay and all of the the surfaces where land and water meet. And you know, it's the islands, it's the watermen, it's the animals, it's the flora and fauna. It's just the total landscape. So we, we tried to, you know, I have over a million photographs of the bay, and getting it down to 50 was real interesting. Well, there are two aspects to the show. One is the color photography that I've done from uh, old Kodachrome, scan some old Kodachromes from 40 years ago um, to uh, uh, up to present uh, digital images. The second aspect of the show, I went around Cambridge and Tillman and literally was knocking on halls of boats, of skipjacks, in the late in the afternoon um, and saying, um, could I get out with you and do photographs? Because I've always, I thought these are iconic boats on the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, you know, I was, in, I was 30 years old. Um, this was just a really interesting uh, subject for me. So I went out with them. I got, I got four, three or four of the captains to say, sure, come on out. And then I remember Emerson Todd saying, now, it's gonna be cold. And he said, we leave around 4 a.m. and we get in about 4 p.m. I said, that's all fine. And so I, you know, I'd get up at 2 a.m. and drive down and go out with them. And for two weeks, I sailed with these guys. These are all black and white Tri-X images made with an old Nikon F. And I put them in a binder. I sold some of them to Popular Photography Magazine on a story about, they wanted a story about documentary photography. And I put them in a binder, all the negatives and sleeves, about 50 rolls and contact, made contact sheets and made a few prints at the time, but just put them away. Well, 40 years later, I just got them out, had them all digitized. And we're projecting those on a, um, on a scrim in the middle of the exhibit. 
So you'll be able, it'll, it'll be like a semi-trans or translucent scrim. So you'll be able to see it front projected and back projected, these black and white images. And uh, to me, that's one of the more interesting parts. Uh, well, I'm optimistic that the sun will come up tomorrow. Um, I'm optimistic that certain aspects of the, of the bay, of the environment, um, are intact. But I really think this young movement, the Greta Thunberg and, and the young movement of, of worldwide of, of looking at climate change, I think climate change could be just a catastrophic. I think what we're going through with COVID is, is minor compared to, to climate change. So I'm, I'm optimistic, I guess, that, that finally we're paying attention. And if we can, uh, I won't get political, but if we can make some changes uh, in Washington and get back to being a world, being a participant in the world, uh, I think we'll be okay.